After having created a new channel within Teams, you can start working together with your colleagues straight away. You can do this in a thousand different ways. But instead, we've decided to give you three foundational tips on how to keep communication within your brand new channel clear and effective. An important part of each and every channel are these tabs. You'll find these at the top of the screen. The tab named Posts will be the home for all the communication within the channel. These posts consist of different conversations and you can start a new one by typing a message in the field at the bottom of the screen. For example, I'll start a conversation here by letting my teammates know what this channel is meant for. By clicking the Format button underneath the text field, I'll be able to give my message a little bit more flair. Let's make it bold so it stands out more. Once the message is done, it's time to send it. Usually, when you want to respond to a message in a group chat, you just type a new message in the text field at the bottom of the screen. However, conversations in this channel work a little differently. Instead of typing a new message, you instead have to click the Reply button underneath the message you want to reply to. Type your message in that text field and press Enter to send it. You can tell that your reply is now shown right underneath the message you replied to. This way, you'll keep conversations in this channel clear and focused. Now, if the channel has a lot of members and they all reply to a message with yes or no, you can see that things could still become messy. Instead of leaving a standard reply, you can also choose to leave an emoji response. This way, you minimize the chance of cluttering up the conversation. The second tab in the menu bar up top is called Files. Here you can find all the files that have been shared with your team members. From here, you can upload files from your computer and fill the tab with important documents that your team members will then be able to access. However, rather than directly uploading to the Files tab, I'm going to share a document to the Posts tab. I'm sharing to Posts because I want to start a conversation around the file I'm uploading. Using the paperclip icon, I can choose to upload a file from either my OneDrive or my own computer. In this case, the file is conveniently saved in my OneDrive, so I can quickly select it and upload it. Now that I've sent my file in the Posts tab, team members will be able to respond to it and give me feedback on what I've made. Once the file is sent in the chat, it will also appear in the Files tab for easy access. But what if a file you just uploaded is so important that people need frequent access to it? Teams allows you to create a tab for files, such as Microsoft Word documents or Excel sheets. Once you have selected this option, a new tab will appear with the same name of your document, essentially acting like a shortcut. If this file has outlived its usefulness, or if you simply don't need it there anymore, you can remove it by right-clicking the tab and clicking Remove. The file will remain in the Files tab, but will no longer be showing up as a separate tab. You can also add a new tab by pressing the plus button. You can add a wide variety of tabs, like a planner board or a OneNote notebook. Once selected and configured, team members will be able to navigate to this new notebook tab with ease. As you can see, the Post tab is now filled with three conversations. The first one is just text. The second one is about the file I shared. And the third one is about the tab I made, which in this case is a OneNote notebook. As you can tell, there are a plethora of ways to work together within a channel. I hope the tips that I gave you in this video will be able to help you keep your channel as clear and as focused as possible. Good luck.